Hello friends, welcome to my channel Maths is a Tricks. So today we are going to discuss about the standard equation of quadrating equation. Standard equa uh, quadrating equation. Okay. Standard quadratic equation, you know, where the exponent of the variable is 2. Maximum exponent of the variable is 2. That is called quadratic equation. This is his equation. There is uh, equal and that is why this is equation so this is the quadratic equation because the maximum exponent of this equation is 2 that is quadratic equation this is the standard form of quadratic equation wherever you go you if you can solve this equation then you can solve every quadratic equation okay so you have you might have uh, found the solution of this equation is x is equal to minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4 is c divided by twice a okay so You, have, you might have seen this formula. This is a formula of quadratic equation. Okay. So you might have remembered this as a formula to solve other uh, quadratic equation. Okay. But today we are going to discuss how we have found this formula yeah. so you can get as an question in your examination to find this formula also if you uh, understand this video then you can solve this problem also okay so this is a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero here the variable is x okay so whichever numerical is attached with this x square that is that will be called as a this will be a constant this may be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, minus 2, minus 5, minus 6, anything, any numbers. Well, this will be a constant, okay. Whatever the, uh, whatever it does with the x, that will be b. And whatever remaining without any x, x, there is no x. That will be C. So this is the standard format of quadratic equation. Okay. So we want to find the solution of this quadratic equation. Okay. So this solution is we have. I think you might have found and you may have remembered that this solution is minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4 ac divided by 2 today we will learn how it is found okay so today uh, we will try to solve this problem with the method of completing square completing square okay so we'll try to make this whole expression as a square we cannot make it square as 
you want there is some rules and regulations with which we can make this expression as a square so we want uh, we need to express this expression as a square okay so there might be some and there is some rules and regulation okay to make this expression as a square okay there is three terms that i think you know there is three that this term is this second term is this third term is this okay this is plus this is plus these three terms are associated with some sign that is plus plus okay so ultimately you can say there are three terms okay so if you want to make square we have two formulas in the whole world don't be confused this will be different here this will be different somewhere else no there is only two formulas in the whole world to make this expression of three terms as a square okay you have already found first one is a plus b whole square this is you know a square plus twice a b plus b square and another one is a minus b whole square a square minus twice a b plus b square okay so there are only these two formulas to express as a square of an expression with three terms so this is an expression this expression we can write if you have this expression then you can directly write this term this square well this is equal to this so this and this is same ye dono same hai matlab ye agar ye hai to ye aap directly likh sakte hain अगर ये है तो अब ये डायरेक्ट लिख सकते हैं तो हियर इज ऑल्सो थ्री टर्म्स दिस वन दिस वन दिस वन ओके दिस ए दिस एज डिफरेंट ओके सो डोंट कंफ्यूज दिस इज अ फॉर्मूला दिस इज जस्ट फॉर्मूलास दिस आर टू फॉर्मूलास यू हैव ऑलरेडी गॉट यू हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न इन क्लास एच so <coughs> this there are two three terms one two this this is one term this is one term this is one of three terms so these three terms we can directly write as a plus b whole square so here is also three terms this one this one this one, three terms so if you found this in this form then directly you can write a minus b whole square okay there is also three terms 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 so in this problem we can use either this or this okay so in this case this is plus this is plus three terms so we just compare this one this is plus this is plus there are three terms they are all the signs are positive there is also three terms but there is one negative but no negative is here okay so you can directly tell that we can compare with this formula okay so if you want to write this a plus b whole square then you have to have a square plus twice b plus b square okay but here it is a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 
okay there is no twice okay there is no c square but here this is square but no square in a so you have to arrange like this formula okay like this expression so first of all you need a square a square twice a b plus b square then you can write a plus b square so first term you need so we have this term we have this expression here but in some other formats you need to have uh, you need to express this expression in this format okay so this is a square whatever is there it is a square okay but in this case a x square is there so square ke niche mein only a rehna padega square ke niche mein yahan pe x hai yahan pe a hai is extra so we need to remove this a you can't directly remove this a there is some rule so if you want to remove this a you this is multiplied with x square so you have to divide it this term by a okay I am making it as simple as that. This is a x square, a x square. So a x square is divided by a. If you divide it, if you divide this term by a, then you need to divide this term also by a. Then this plus. Then if you, uh, then also you need to divide. This term by a equal. Also, you need to divide this term, whatever it is. This term is zero divided by a. Okay. So this is this is same. We have written in some other formats, but this and this are same. So now we have divided this. So this a, this a, this a will be cancelled out. So it will remain x squared. So there will be nothing cancelled out. So this will be this will remain as it is. Then c a is equal to zero divided by a is zero. Anything zero divided by anything is zero. जीरो को कुछ भी नंबर से आप डिवाइड करो दैट विल बी जीरो ओके यू नो सो फर्स्ट टाइम वी हैव गेट गोट फर्स्ट टाइम व्हाट इज स्क्वायर टू के निशे में ए है सो टू के निशे में एक्स है मतलब इन दिस केस ए इज एक्स ओके सो इट we have found this term okay plus this plus this plus and this plus is this plus same okay after that we need two but there is no two okay there is no two so we forcefully put a two okay two what it is bx plus a this is one application we have put two as extra but this there is no two if you justify if we want to justify this expression then we have put one two is here so we need to be cancel out this two we need to cancel out this two so this two is here so if we 
put a 2 here then if we cancel out 2 2 to bx by a so this will be same so in one word this term and this term is same you have a though part dal dia you have a though say divide kar dia so do do cut ke ultimately ye rahega agar aap isko solve solve karenge if you solve this you will get this one so this term is this term is same okay so here you have nothing to put here okay zero i am expanding as much as possible to make you understand okay so x square plus two so two we have got these two but remaining is bx by twice a okay two ke baad a aega a yahan pe a this a this a to yahan pe kya x a ke jagah mein x hai x dal diya to yahan pe do dal diya x dal diya reh gaya kya b by 2 a okay plus c by a is equal to 0 और सिंपलीफाई करेंगे x square plus a square यहाँ पे मिल गया a के जगह में x है twice a b तो twice a b two यहाँ पे है a के जगह में a यहाँ पे a x है x के जगह में x two a हो गया तो रह गया क्या b by twice a तो उसको हम काट नहीं सकते हैं ये तो रहना ही पड़ेगा क्योंकि b पहले से है ये पहले से है तो b by twice a तो in that case we can say two a b two a b this whole mass is b okay if we compare with this formula so a square plus twice a b then what we need plus b square plus b square b is b by twice a b is b by twice a whole square yeah pe am zor zor is the dal dia forcefully you have put this okay then is equal to zero yeah pe plus c by a is already there okay c by a is already there so c by a ye hai this equal is this equal this zero is this zero okay but यहाँ पे हम लोग ज़्यादा क्या डाल दिया? ये ये सेम है, और ये और ये सेम है, ये और ये सेम है, ये और ये सेम है, because ये कट जाएगा तो bx by a सेम रहेगा। तो यहाँ पे दो ज़्यादा डाल दिया, तो दे, दो यहाँ पे डिवाइड कर दिया, कट जाके ये सेम रहेगा। तो फिर दो हम ये we have put these two as separate, then a करने के लिए x के जगह में a कर दिया, a के जगह में x कर दिया b by twice a okay then b by twice this in any cause this should be b this b should be this one because 2 this 2 a this this a. then b like so whatever is balance here this will be b this will be b so after that plus b square we need b square b is b by twice a b by twice a whole square okay plus c by a is this is equal to this so what we have done we have done this much we have put extra b by twice a whole square okay plus so if we justify this equation with this so yaha pe jana dal dia to yaha pe usko sat o sat minus karna parega b by twice a whole square so ultimately we can say this e is and this this expression and this expression is same but we have expanded this expression like this to make whole square okay so we can what we can write now 
if we compare this expression up to this much x square plus twice x this plus this whole square so a square plus twice a b plus b square a square square a twice this two a this b this much b square this much is square so if you compare this part with this so if you can write a square plus twice a b plus b square is equal to a plus b whole square so we can write this also a plus b whole square in this case what is a x plus b if we can write this expression as a plus b whole square then we can write this also as a plus b whole square in this case a is x plus b what is what is b this is 2 this is a b is this so a ke baad jo bhi reh jata hai b b square to a ke baad reh gaya b plus twice plus b plus twice whole square so in this case b is b plus twice b sorry b by twice okay so a plus b whole square if you can write for this part a plus b whole square so for this part we can right x plus b by twice whole square okay so we have transferred this as whole square square okay so after that what we remain what uh, uh, there remains this remains is b by twice whole square plus c by a is equal to zero okay so x b by twice so we can uh, transfer this part up to uh, to uh, towards right hand side of this equation so if we take this part uh, to the right side of a, uh, this equal say equal this uh, the sign is minus so this will be plus b by twice a square and this sign is plus so this will be c by a okay so we have done what equal ke us par hum usko leke gaya okay iske aage mein negative hai to ye positive ho gaya positive okay aur ye positive hai negative ho gaya equal ke us par leke gaya equal ke us par leke we have shifted this term to the right side of this equal okay so x